morning. morning from Huawei because we are here so early and our guest house is so popular then unfortunately we cannot yet check into our room but all that does really is just prompt us to go and check out some of the city so we are going to go grab a quick coffee and crack on with the day to Hue's Imperial City. It cost 400,000 dong to get in, which is about $23.50. And from our understanding, the Imperial City here lies within the walls of the outer citadel walls, which are right behind us. This is Tai Hua Hall. As you can see, it's currently under reconstruction. UNESCO took this on in 1993 and they are still working through some things. However, it looks like from the artist's impressions that this was a very impressive building. dynasty came to power in 1802 and that brought the advent of a number of different things but the most important was that the capital of the kingdom was moved from Tang Long, which we visited when we were in Hanoi to here in Hue. And this is Kian Trung Palace where the imperial family lived. of the Imperial City began in 1803 and as we've been seeing it grew to include royal palaces for the Imperial family, shrines, gardens, and also villas for the bureaucratic scholars of the city. Unfortunately, this site was really only used as a royal residence up until the French colonial era in the late 19th century. 
At that point, it was no longer a seat of power, but more of a ceremonial location. And it continued to basically be that way until about 1945. Then when, whichever way you want to call it, the American War, the Vietnam War, then came around, despite it basically having been abandoned, it was then used as a target for multiple attacks. And so as a result, this entire site suffered extensive damage. And that is why there's so many buildings that are really in need of restoration and why you can only really see about half of what used to be here. able to capture the sheer scale of this entire complex. It is absolutely massive. And despite the fact that there aren't as many buildings here as there once were, and some of them are still currently under restoration, what there is still standing is absolutely glorious. The exterior decor is very ornate and colorful and it's just been a pleasure to wander the grounds and look at the architectural style, appreciate it for the best part of probably at least two hours. So, you know, $23.50 for both of us to come in here and see what once was the capital of Vietnam has been really interesting, especially when you compare it to what we saw in Hanoi where there was even less left we didn't have to imagine what the buildings used to look like because there were enough of them still here that we could really get a sense of how this imperial city used to function and used to look. So, super interesting. It is 11.24 and we are just having breakfast. So I've gone for a banana pancake and a coconut coffee and Rachel has gone for coconut coffee as well and a mango pineapple coconut smoothie because you just can never have too many exotic fruits apparently. noon and we've finally been able to check into our room so that means it is time to crash for a good few hours. We will pick this up when we've woken up. Good morning. Sorry we didn't take any more footage of yesterday. When we got in everything kind of caught up with us and by everything we mean just how ill we were and the fact that we had three consecutive nights of terrible sleep, not least because of that cabin bus ride as well. With that, we just decided to just take the evening off to try and recover, and it has helped, I'd like to think. It's definitely helped. I slept well last night. Did you? Same. Yeah, slept like a dream, and it was very much needed. So we're feeling much better today, but all that we actually have to do is get on a bus and go to our next city. Fortunately, this bus is only supposed to be about three and a half hours, so it won't be affecting our sleep this time. And it's about a 45 minute walk away from where we're staying. So we figured let's get some sunshine and get our bodies moving. 
before we get on a three and a half hour bus ride. So let's get going. dropped off and so after four and a half hours of bus travel or in this case minivan travel we've arrived in our next city but the funny thing is when we book these bus tickets or in this case it was a minivan we never know how we're gonna get there no we seem to have had a combination of all sorts of different journeys even though we only booked one solitary ticket in this instance, we got on one minivan, which then took us about five minutes to another minivan, which then took us on for a couple of hours, before then putting us into an SUV, which then eventually dropped us off. But the key thing is, we're very, very nearly there, so I guess the waiting was worth it in the end. We have now checked in, which means that we are checking out. We'll catch up with you in our next video. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling.